Not everyone's against the proposed new security law. Up to 3 million people, that's 40% of Hong Kong's population, support the controversial legislation. That's according to the group behind this petition. A man who said he was an organizer insists they weren't paid to be here. We volunteered to come out for this petition. Today is Saturday. If I hadn't come, I would have been working. In the rival camp, they've been trying to garner support for a general strike, with students also being asked whether they want to join a classroom boycott. On Saturday, they and workers voted in an unofficial referendum organized by 30 unions, many of them newly formed. We will keep going on, all different sections of society, and hope for the best. We can't control the future. It's just over three weeks since China's National People's Congress approved the legislation. Since Thursday, a more powerful legislative body has been reviewing the measure. That meeting ended in Beijing on Saturday, with state media reporting that the draft had been published and included details about the establishment of a security office in Hong Kong to collect intelligence and handle crimes against national security, but said it would respect local laws. The activist Joshua Wong says he now expects to be a target because of his repeated calls for US economic sanctions against Hong Kong as a way of punishing China. And we also face the risk to extradite to China. In the previous day, we may be jailed in Hong Kong. But later on, we may be jailed in China, in Beijing. Joshua Wong and other people here know they can't stop this law, but pressure is mounting on China's leaders, with the European Parliament passing a resolution condemning the measure. Significant because on Monday, a China-EU summit is due to be held. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.